How long do you recommend staying natty if you eventually want to start taking PEDs? I've been lifting since 16, 24 now. I'm still quite small, 168 pounds, 5, 10, 15 ish percent body fat. This this is a, a really difficult question to, to answer. He has, a, I think, a second part here. My thought is to do coaching, get more discipline, and see what kind of progress I can make and reassess. To do coaching is in like get a coach. I would argue that that's imperative. A lot of people think that they have things dialed in, and I'm not even trying to be rude, but that just almost is never, ever, ever the wow. case whenever we onboard people they're like oh i know all about my diet i know all about my training and i review it or adam reviews and it's like what the f what the fuck is this like <laughs> this shit is and i'm not trying to be rude i am but i'm not trying to be it, it's not good so arguably i think getting a real depiction of super appropriate and dialed in diet looks like super dialed in training periodization would look like for you as a human being that's critical and then once you've gotten those things and you've checked those boxes then you would be set you you have the we talked about this last week actually how you can hire someone to condense all their years of learning into you know a year of working with them for instance and so you condense all that person's information failures and past experiences with clients you then leverage it and now you start taking pharmacology you're that much better off to begin with i would also ensure that you're taking the proper precautions so you're doing genetic testing to see if you have pre-existing genetic deviations that would lead to you having heart risks cardiovascular disease risks things like that alzheimer's really important then i would do organ imaging if you can on your kidneys and liver and heart just to see if everything is normal there again just to ensure that you don't already have an enlarged heart or you don't already have liver cirrhosis and then do labs see where your baseline levels of hormones are at from there a-okay right you've accumulated the knowledge of training nutrition and all the things that you can do to to leverage success you've checked your health to ensure that there's nothing that's consequentially going to stop you in two years time then execute there's a lot of ways to look at this and you know you've just covered all the things or precautions you want to do prior to starting peds in fact i think if you join our discord i'll post it in there but we have a private video that i basically did a seminar for uh, yeah, approaching video. where I did a one hour basically thing of what Colton said, a longer version of what Colton said about all the precautions you want to take. So there's that precautions you need. Then the other aspect of it, as Colton said, and this is not to insult anyone because even myself, I didn't optimize from the get go. Even now I can still improve things. Working with a coach and that doesn't even necessarily ask any knowledgeable coach, right? Will allow you to get all these variables dialed in and also get you used to doing blood work, you know, whilst you're natural. Tracking your training, tracking your nutrition because all this stuff gets accelerated when you're on PDs. You're no longer just looking after your diet. You're no longer just looking after training. No longer looking after your supplementation. But now you have to consider your PEDs and the related side effects. Now you have to consider your blood work. Is it becomes a much greater endeavor. And I say to individuals who are, who are natural and who are considering it, if you are barely ticking those boxes as a natural, come on, dude. You're not going to suddenly start taking tests and like, okay, now I'm going to start tracking my weight. Oh, now I'm going to start tracking my calories more. Oh, now I'm going to start getting blood work. Like, no. So what I say is use working with a coach as a trial run to sort of get used to because like, you know, this is just us. Uh, I guess plugging us a bit. Okay, we are very meticulous with metric tracking. I have a lot of metrics that I track with most of my high level guys. Okay, this is less so the lifestyle guys, but more so the competitive guys. All the people are looking to really develop this physique. A lot of metrics that they track. And if you are unable to track those metrics consistently, you are how not going to have the consistency to do your blood work, mitigate side effects, do daily shots, etc. Do that to learn how to really optimize, you know, all aspects of your diet. And then if after you know, as Colton mentioned, you've done all those checks when it comes to your health, then consider you know using a small dose of testosterone again under the supervision of a coach and or hopefully a clinic which uh you know can give you actual pharmaceutical stuff and that typically is the best way to go because again many individuals will like just start pinning okay and then run into you know issues later on whether it be financial issues whether it be side effects whether it be genetic predisposition they had and they didn't know about and then what do you do from there then you have to unfuck yourself and i hate to say this but like that's when a lot of people contact us when they really are fucked and, or rather experiencing issues and then we have to unfuck them and then do it and then feedback I often get was oh fuck man i wish we hired you guys earlier and it's like again this is not me just trying to show our, our coaching because a lot of good coaches out there would do the same thing but rather say that you can avoid a lot of these mistakes because no one knows everything we don't know everything but what we can say is we leverage off each other we leverage off the people in our community to give you a much better or more informed result it's like the difference between saying being in a room alone being like hey this is my plan versus versus being in a room with educated people who you know have your best interests at heart who have experience with this who can then come up with a plan that's going to work better for you excuse the speech but this is something that we do come across very frequently yeah i think it's so critical and i'm not trying to i don't want us to like scare you away from using peds i think it's a great lifestyle if you can do it appropriately and you realize the risk involved and, and you're okay with that it's just that so many people get into this without any depiction of what they want out of it and they don't understand that there's also going to
going to, with those things, come unwanted results too. Cognitive effects yeah. physically appearing different on the outside. I told people yeah, in the yeah. Discord, they were talking about how our voices have changed after using certain amounts of, of gear. I told people to go back to the very first video I posted on this YouTube channel. I won my natural pro card and I made a video. I look like an entirely different human being. I sound entirely different. The, the gear has changed my morphological features as well as my voice. My point in saying all this isn't to scare you away again. It's, it's to say these things do have unwanted effects. And if you don't go in knowing both what you want from it and clarifying that you aren't going to put yourself at a much greater risk than you need to, you're, you're fucking up. So figure those things out and then, yeah. you know, you're, you're and, straight. And, and, last, and last, last thing I'll say about, about this, and you guys can tell me to shut the fuck up. If you can't afford monthly coaching, two or three months to assess this for you, then you shouldn't be running PEDs. Because yeah. when you hire a coach, most people are charging anywhere from like, I don't know, 250 USD all the way up, 500 USD. Great, right, that's 2,500 or something like that per month. <laughs> or, or whatever the fuck he is, okay? Uh, but the point being is, if you do run into issues, okay, like, you know, you're getting maybe gynecomastia or you're getting significant hair loss, you know, even if you're getting issues with your heart or cardiac issues, which I've had people come to me before, all those issues are going to run you in medical costs way more than three, 400, you know, USD a month. In addition to that, you might say to me, well, Adam, I'm in Australia with Medicare or something like that. Good luck finding a doctor where you tell them that you take PEDs so they're not just going to tell you, just get off PEDs, you'll be fine, or you're on PEDs, you're fine. Because finding a doctor in a lot of those systems are going to be very, very difficult. All I'm trying to say to you is that the investment cost, because I'm because this is what we do. But I generally think the value that we give or what we charge, I think is pretty astronomical. The pretty fact that you can yeah. contact yeah. us basically 24 seven and have someone guiding you through every single aspect. I mean, that will save you so much money in the long run, as opposed to winging it yourself and hoping, oh shit, I'm not gonna get, get side effects from this. Because again, most of the time when the guys come to us and they do have issues, it costs them a lot of money. Like have guys, you know, having to get multiple sets of organ imaging. Guys, you have to get, you know, pretty complex uh, pharmacological profile. I have a guy now, you know, he's an awesome guy. And unfortunately with it, he did actually have a previous coach, but unfortunately the guy wasn't super knowledgeable and it basically screwed up his hormones and he had cystic acne all across his back. You know, this guy, he's a great dude. He's a great client of mine, but he's been to multiple dermatologists, multiple doctors, had spending shitload of doctor's appointments, a shitload of, you know, uh, Accutane and various other uh, skincare medication to fix an issue, which... Again, I don't blame him because he did get a coach, but again, it didn't go well. If you know he got, got the right advice, he wouldn't have to do this. He would have to do yeah. this. And we're actually having to solve his acne issue in conjunction with his dermatologist before we can actually pursue bodybuilding more, more seriously. And these I are things that can be avoided. Too, he's yeah, a, he's a really like motivated kid. And yeah, he, his no, he's, dude, he's a legend and he's working his ass off. But I, I, feel, mm -hmm. and I feel bad for him because he did do the right thing. He did hire a coach, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't know, his coach didn't, cannot interpret blood work because, yeah, his, his hormones were really out of whack. But these are things you can avoid. Yeah.